Okay. Uh, engineering students, welcome back. Um, want to continue looking at uh, the structure of hydrocarbons, particularly alkanes. Uh, how to interpret the bond line structure, and also if you have the the normal uh, Lewis representation, how you can convert it to the to the bond line structure. Perhaps we should uh, begin with the with the uh, two dimensional illustrations and how to convert it into the bond line structure, right? So let's let's continue from there. So in such a structure, um, this is going to be equivalent to, there is the CH3, CH2, CH2, CH, and then this is CH3, CH2, and then CH3. So in the normal uh, uh, zigzag manner, this will be CH2, excuse me, uh, CH2, CH, CH3, uh, CH2, CH3. Then now you can now convert it into, into this zigzag zig now this is carbon hydrogen so there is no problem and then this is a h and then there is a ch2 or this yeah but uh, to make it correctly this uh, this middle group can just show it up yeah can you see that all right so you can see how we have converted this structure into into this form and then I uh, want to look at uh, still another one of these ones. Let's see, I've got H, C, H, C, maybe I've got C, I've got H, uh, C, H, 3. Uh, perhaps I should put it the normal manner. Uh -huh. I put it like this. Uh-huh. And then probably I put another, sorry, I put a C, H, and then a C, H, H, and then there's a hydrogen. Okay. Can you see that structure? So let us see how we can convert into this form. This is carbon three hydrogen that is CH3. This is CH, then this is C, CH, then there is a, there is a CH3, there is another CH3. Yeah? Then uh, I come back here, so this is CH2. This is CH, then there is a what? A CH2, then there is a CH3. Yeah? Then uh, this is CH2, then the last one is CH3. Can you see that? So uh, let me try to see. So that one is not coming off, but it's just a CH3, okay? So let us now convert it into the normal uh, bond line structure. So this will be what? This will be CH3, uh, CH, 
maps uh, okay ch ch3 ch3 uh, ch2 ch ch2 ch3 and then there is a ch2 and then there is ch3 okay now uh perhaps uh let me just draw this structure down here i think it can be clear so this would be what this uh, ch3 ch uh, okay let me see perhaps uh okay let me start here this is ch3 ch so it means that um, uh, there's a carbon hydrogen so there is a carbon with a hydrogen and then I put a CH3 and a CH3. Yeah. And then there is a what? So that is that carbon. There is a CH2. Then there is a what? That is that carbon. Then there is a carbon with a, a CH2, CH3. Then there is a, a CH2, CH3. Now, uh, want to avoid... Uh, this one to which it is down and then there is another bond down so so it's still okay if if i can represent this one by by putting it the other way around so i'm just going to say this is equivalent to to this one and then i say uh, this one which was down I, i've just put it down i've just put it up then the rest is can you see that is it uh, is it clear so so this is my CH3, this is my CH. Now this one which was down, I'm just putting it up, it doesn't really matter. So it is CH, there's a carbon with a hydrogen, there's a metal group, there's another metal group, there's a CH2, there is a CH here, then there's a branch with a CH2, CH3, then there is a CH2, CH3. Is that clear on that? <laughs> so now it is clear on how you can be able to to convert this representation uh, this representation to this representation and then also to this representation of the Lewis structure or if you are given this Lewis structure how you can convert it back to the to the bond line structure okay I hope that's clear so now uh, These structures contain, uh, they're just made up of alkenes, yeah? And alkenes, they have got branches. So in this case, we're going to be looking at some uh, some rules on how to really name these alkenes. Uh, uh, we're going to come up with some rules that you need to identify something called the parent chain. And the parent chain is going to be said to be the, the longest uh, carbon chain. And then, um, uh, you will have to look at uh, uh, the branches which are called substituent. You need to uh, to number them in such a way that uh, you get as many branches as possible, as opposed to a small and a more complex uh, substituent. But you'll come up with those rules, and then you'll be able to see how you can be able to name this uh, this uh, this alkenes. Yeah. So just note on how these structures, and then. Uh, in the next uh, session, we'll be able to to see how we can be able to to name this uh, this alkenes. All right. So we'll just stop there. This is just like like the, uh, to show you how if you're given uh, this Lewis structure, how you can convert it into the bond line structure, and then the bond line structure how you can convert it into into this uh, uh, two-dimensional Lewis structure. Okay. So we'll just stop there, and then we'll proceed that.